Now, you have both called for a mask mandate in New Hampshire. How would you enforce such a mandate? Which agency would be responsible for that enforcement? And what type of punitive measures would be included? Councilor Valensky, we'll start with you. Look, Trump and Sununu have questioned the public health data on whether masks make a difference. It's clear that they do. I would have preferred and confronted Sununu about this in early April and asked him to put together a mask mandate. Um, I would show leadership, and leadership by example is often what we need to encourage people to uh, wear masks and be safe. I would ask businesses to refrain from serving customers who refuse to wear masks. If you're in a public indoor space, you should be wearing a mask because it's good for your community. It protects your neighbor. We should be able to make that argument and without relying harshly on punitive measures, move people to do the right thing by modeling the kind of behavior that we would expect of our neighbors and our friends. Senator. Thank you. Uh, I do support a common sense public mask requirement. We're the only state in New England that doesn't have it under Governor Chris Sununu. It's common sense. It's based on the advice of public health experts. And we have to rely on the advice of public health experts in a crisis, in a pandemic. And it's one thing if you're out walking your dog by yourself, but it's another thing if you're in public in a place of public accommodation. Out of respect for others, including our frontline workers in grocery stores and healthcare settings, people should wear a mask. It makes good sense. And we need to move forward with common sense public health measures. And look, we, we've seen what's happened recently, including Chris Sununu rolling out the red carpet for Donald Trump in a rock concert style setting of a rally. Uh, that's, not, that's not public health. That's elevating politics above public health. It's prioritizing Chris Sununu's relationship with Donald Trump over public health at a fragile time in this recovery. But Senator, 30 seconds if you can. How do you differ from your opponent on this matter? Uh, from Andrew, is that the question, Jennifer? Yes, sir. Uh, well, I think Andrew and I agree uh, on this. Um, I think what we also agree on is that uh, Chris Sununu uh, shouldn't be rolling out the red carpet for a rock concert style atmosphere. Thousands of people jammed together. Uh, look, it shouldn't be just uh, a, a rally, a, pro a political rally. It should be, you know, rock concerts and other uh, type of forums where thousands of people are jammed together. That doesn't make good sense. That's elevating politics above public health. Councillor, what about you? That yep, Councillor, what about Sununu you? Any differences here between you and your opponent here on uh, Senator Feltus? Look, Sununu and Trump should not be treating New Hampshire as a photo op. They are dangerous when it comes to spreading the virus. We should have not allowed the president to come and hold that rally today. I was the one who opposed the peas rally when that was being planned. That is a difference between the two of us. No photo ops for New Hampshire by this president and spreading the virus.